I wanted to talk about this briefly, not to like try to attack anyone or come at anyone in particular neck, but I've been noticing since I've started to kick it up a notch and be a little bit more free with, with how I feel and have no fear whatsoever, which I've always been like that, but I've been cranking it up a notch. I have no fear whatsoever of what society says or the sheep or people emotionally trying to manipulate me into having a different opinion and all that crap, man. Like I've been getting a lot of emails and messages and people even trying to call me and damn they had to where my moderators are seeing it as disrespectful the way people demand conversations and demand phone calls with me. Right. I don't really see it as that, but then now looking back at it, I'm like, yeah, that is kind of crazy that people think that they can literally just summon me. Right. But I'm not taking no offense to it. I just think people have strong emotional connections. Right. It's the same when people are in my comment sections and saying how they disagree. It's like impossible to disagree nowadays for some apparent reason. Right. Like it's like people are allergic to it. Like they, they, they have to get their ish off. Right. And by the ish, getting the issue of that's a term that is used, I guess, in the street for like fighting or boxing. You got to get your ish off. Right. It ain't going to be right. That's like if you got beef with somebody and if you have the possibility to actually fear in a fair way, you know, c- compete in fisticuffs, then you, it ain't going to be right until y'all get that off. That's like a young thing. Right. Y'all going to be beefing all year, forever, for the rest of your life. If y'all don't just get it off, right? So back in the day when I was young, you used to, I guess, square up and then shake hands after. And you might be best friends with the person. Most of the friends I grew up with in my childhood, we had fist fights. Whether it was before we became friends or after, but it was just like part of the game. It was just part of the game, right? So I think nowadays, right, people are not built like that. I'm not saying you should get into fisticuffs. I'm talking about the, the mentality of just being able to disagree and move on, right? Like, there's a lot of people I disagree with. I don't demand answers from them on Twitter. I don't hit them up. You, you got to tell me why, right? Or the opposite of, I got to tell you what I think because what I think is so valid. I have to, one-on-one, let you know. But then, I don't give a fuck. I ain't even trying to curse like that, but I, I don't care. I can't. In order for me to create to the fullest capabilities, uh, my fullest capabilities, I have to function a certain way where I can't let the public sway me, right? I can't let even me being cool with people or appreciating someone's support me because I've had instances where people that support me will go crazy and try to DM me about something. And I'm like, ma'am, I said what I said. I'm willing to have a conversation, right? And even defend my points, but the entitlement is crazy. Think about it like this, right? Think about it like this. If you feel you can contact me and we can have a one-on-one conversation about every video of mine that you disagree with, where I say anything that you just don't understand or whatever, that means that everybody can do that, right? Now, how can I? in any way, shape, or form, sit there and respond and have one-on-one conversations explaining my points that I already said in the damn video even further. Or the other option is to just sit there and have somebody just talk at me, right? Whether they're sending me long paragraph messages or whatever. They're just going to talk at me and then if I respond, what I've noticed too, and I like, I have such a low tolerance for people that do this. I hate one sided conversations. When I can tell that someone is like giving me the yeah, whatever treatment, maybe even saying it just so they can continue on with their point and they're not hearing a single word I'm saying, why should I give you the, the courtesy of respect to hear you out when you didn't even, even try to fathom the way I think or, or hearing me out? But like people expect you to abide by, you got to hear them out, right? It's so stupid. I think it's like, it's just, it's just crazy and it's entitled, it's selfish, it's a whole bunch of things. So from now on, man, like, I don't, I don't care if you at me, but I'm about to bring back the don't at me, right? You ain't getting a reply from me. Don't at me. 
Don't don't go if you go to my Twitter mad about a video or a statement I made and think that I'm gonna one on one explain things to you, you out your damn mind, bro. Don't don't try to ask my mods to tell me anything, to tell me to hit you up. None of that, none of that, bro. And I don't mean it in a, a beef way to anyone that's receiving this message. I'm assuming hopefully I, a lot of people. I would I would love for everyone in the world. <laughs> To see this damn message, but I'm probably gonna post it on my second channel. Um, no beef, no drama. I just, I, I don't contact people about their single one videos or whatever opinion they had and demand answers. That's that's just not me, right? Like that's not me. I see opinions that I disagree with on a regular basis. I see content creators put their foot in their mouth all the time. And like almost every time I'm a hundred percent sure that I would smoke this person in a debate in front of everybody if I did call them out, right? Or if I did have the conversation. But some people they're not able to have conversations, right? They're not able to disagree. They're not able to hear another opinion. They get really defensive. You ever talk to someone, they try to confront you or call you out, and then when you respond to their bad point, it's I'm just stating my opinion. I just want to give you another view instead of actually explaining their side or making any kind of sense or, or yeah, how about this? How about actually acknowledging what the hell you're saying? Bam, that all the time I, I see that I come across people that, that do that, right? Um, and to me, especially due to the fact that I'm getting old, I'll be an old vib and I don't got time for the games. I am. But I'll cut a conversation short, bro. Either I'm gonna kick it up a notch in order to to force the person to, to flee the scene because I'm just sick of hearing them. Which you probably see me doing a plethora of not even debates, but just online conversation. I'll just be like this person not making no sense, and they're not even trying to hear me. When I yo fam, it's not even when I feel when I can blatantly tell that it's going in one ear out the other. Right? Like if, if you try to summarize everything I said to you and it's some sh stuff that has nothing to do with what I just said, it, it's not that you have poor job or a uh, hard time interpreting. You you just don't want to hear somebody, right? Which is why like I don't just debate anybody in their mama now. Like that's just not my my type of time. But it is what it is, man. I just wanted to talk about that briefly. Like, there's a reason why my DMs are shut down on most websites, right? Like, why you can't just contact me randomly, right? There's a reason why. It's because I, I don't want to be that accessible. Oops. Oops, see, I think I heard my, my voice playing in the background. I don't want to be that accessible to, to anyone, right? And I rock with my supporters. I rock with my supporters. They can send me an email. They know that's the best way to contact me. Or come to a live stream and we could chat it out right there, man. Um, but the whole, I demand answers. You need to think like me, bull crap. I can't operate like that. Say what you will. Cancel me. I just, I can't function like that.